from the national level, the NCC presidential uh, ship will be adorned by someone from uh, outside from uh, Jawaharlal Nehru family. There is uh, major uh, news around this uh, yatra at national level. We expect some words from the national level media spokesperson uh, in this uh, scenario. Uh, let me invite Sri Pavan Gaya to address this gathering. Balanji, do you like to say something? Trishurile Mathima Sour the Kirk, Nangal of Hagatanala, Nani Adinan Arikiana, Karna Mude, Parajodo Yatri, my Bantha Patana, ACC Mathima Pagat in the chairman, Gudi Itala, Sri Pavan Kera, Ninga Kalaurkum, Pajita Maitula Perana, Mathima Rangatum, Edith and Rangatumoke, Kenya Kore Kalangai, the Shatra Tatana Chatse Padana, or Ekituana, Sri Pavan Kerry. Are they having any or Meet the press peribadi lake, Chenichu, and the Ladil, Yangal of Hagatana, the Shur Press Club in the Parawa Hilker, Yangaladin and Nani Arikiana. If a day at the Sam Sarikia, um, Yangalke Iatre Kuruchana, Kudalai to Parayan another, Edam Piedi, Kenya Kumaril and Aram Picha, Padayatra, Padunandi and a Kerala Teleka Pravish each other. Tiruvan the Viram, Kolam, Alapura, Ernagulam, Jilagal Puti Geriche, Ipol Trishur Jilil, Paradanam, Narthikundi Kiana, Nala Kudi, Trishur Jililana, Tarajodo Yatrada Paradanam, Matanal Palaka de Jilium, Adinadatu Dosam, Malapuram Jililikum Praveshi Kiana, Irvatian Baduariana, Namaka Kerala Tele, Tarajodo Paviatra, Narakana, the session Bene, Tamil Nadu Chariya Strachukudi Karine, Karnada Telekum, Matasam Sanan and Likum Pogia. Abidumai Vantha Petter, Nangakumuno to a Kerala Kayangalo, the Parajodo Yatra, Prathana Patan Sangalo, Sophoyamai, Anagaliga, Rastria Sampoviga Sangal, with a Texan Suji Pitcher Volela, the Sia Talatele, Pudia Sampoviga Sangal, okay. Namoda Sam Sarikan, Prepeta Sripa and Keraji the name of it, other than they had an eye, very much again. Thank you, Viti Val Ramji, and the valued friends from the Press Club of Trishu. Uh, it's a joy to come into this historic city. We started from Kanyakumari, which is the Sangam of uh, three oceans. And today we are in Trishur, which is the Sangam of several faiths. Historically, Trishur has shown to the rest of the country how to coexist peacefully, how to learn from each other, how to celebrate each other how to celebrate the uh, diversities of culture. Trishur has also taught us from the Guru Vayur, Satyagraha to the very enthusiastic participation in the civil dis disobedience movement. A lot of lessons that the rest of the country can learn from Trishur. Mr. Rahul Gandhi and other participants of Bharat Jodo Yatra are not tired at all. That is the kind of love Kerala has given to us. They may be blisters on our feet, but our hearts are full of hope, joy and enthusiasm. All thanks to the lovely people of Kerala. So we are approaching the last lag of our Padyatra in Kerala. In the last 17 days, Mr. Rahul Gandhi has interacted with a lot of groups, has walked with Swiggy delivery boys, with students, has interacted with coconut farmers, cashew farmers, rubber plantation farmers, paddy farmers, IT professionals. Every other day, he has been interacting between the two lags of Yatra in the morning and the evening. In the afternoon, he has been interacting with all these groups. And even while he is walking, he is interacting. And when I say interacting, I don't mean the way the Prime Minister interacts, one-way communication. I mean he listens to people. He understands their issues, their problems. And it's, a, it's an exchange between two human beings, not between a man sitting on a pedestal and others on the road.
that's the difference between the Congress culture and the BJP culture. When I talk about the BJP, it reminds me in the last 17 days, the number <coughs> of attacks the BJP tried to make on Bharat Jodo Yatra. And we understand they are nervous. And the people of Kerala have always made BJP nervous. The glaring example is what has happened in the last 17 days. They attacked Mr. Rahul Gandhi on the kind of clothes he wears. In the containers, and the container is like a second AC railway compartment. They attacked him on the containers we are living in. They attacked him using a photograph of Mr. Rahul Gandhi with his niece. Look at the level of, look at the mentality of this party. And yesterday was the ultimate stupidity that these people resorted to. They don't realize that people of Kerala, people of India understand what's happening. They used a photograph of another girl, not from Kerala, and confused, deliberately confused that person with the KSU student leader Miva Andrelio. And they said Miva Andrelio was the one who raised slogans in favor of Pakistan. Look at the lies, look at the fake news, look at the kind of rumors they are peddling just to run our Padyatra down. And why do they want to run the Bharat Jodo Yatra down? Who can have an objection to uniting the country? I ask. I think that's the noblest of all objectives and cutting across party lines, everybody should be one on this. But the BJP and its ideological forefathers, which, are, which, are, which is the RSS, has never been known to do one single thing which is not divisive in nature, which does not polarize. Look at their priorities. What are we trying to highlight through this Yatra? We are trying to highlight the record-breaking unemployment which the country is facing today. 45-year-old record has been broken by the BJP's policies, economic policies. We are trying to highlight the <coughs> economic disparities that are growing over the last eight years. We have seen tremendous disparities. Look at the MSME sector. We are trying to highlight the misplaced, deliberately misplaced priorities of the BJP. They are obsessed with dividing based on religion, based on caste, based on language, based on eating habits, based on what you wear, what I wear. Give them one opportunity and they will divide you. We understand the people of India do not want to listen to this language of hatred, listen to this language of divisions. People of India, people of Kerala, people of Thrissur want their governments, their politicians to talk about employment, to talk about solutions, not to create problems. But that's something which the government sitting in Delhi refuses to understand because they don't understand that language of solving problems. They only understand the language of conflict. They only add conflict. Wherever they go, they'll create a conflict. So, before it becomes a monologue, I would like to interact with my learned friends of the media here. So, I request you, if you have any questions, you want to interact on any issue related to the Yatra or unrelated to the Yatra, most welcome. Congress had no power when we waged a peaceful, non-violent Satyagraha against the British. We were not powerful. 
the power of the congress came from the people and the power of the congress always comes from the people historically since the inception of the congress party our power comes from every single indian this is a basic lesson whoever wants to study congress we are all students of the congress party we we are trying to understand people accuse us oh you are not a cadre based party yes we are not a cadre based party and thankfully we are not a cadre based party we raise issues which mobilize people irrespective of what their political ideology is they strengthen the congress congress is a movement it will remain a movement and i hope it always remains a movement so to understand the power of a movement you cannot undermine the power of india if you are saying the congress is not powerful you are basically saying indians are not powerful i would not respond to a, a comment like this The schedule is out. Schedule is out. So we are waiting. That's like you are waiting, I am also waiting. Now you are. We are all waiting. You have been told not to speak. <laughs> no, no, nobody in our party uh, stops us from no, no. speaking. But here, you see, in the beginning, it is the the word came from Nehru family, projecting somebody. That's okay. When I didn't, I didn't hear that word. It didn't come to me. So I don't know. I don't. Uh, no, I don't agree. That creates no. a particular split no. in the party. No, no, no. I don't agree there at all. The word came in the media. <laughs> Nobody from the party spoke to the media that oh, this is our official. No, that's incorrect. It's a fair election. It's a free election. No other party will be able to or can afford to have an election such as this. The BJP. No one knows. who chose mr nadda or mr amit shah whoever is the president now i think is mr nadda even mr nadda doesn't know whether he is the president now or not so don't compare our party with any other party we have a fair election we have a free election and you will see in days to come is there an official candidate everybody who files is an official candidate nobody is unofficial no the moment you file a form you are officially a candidate everybody who contests who plans to contest is a congressman or a congresswoman and they are as respectable as any other congress person the main motto of this journey is uh, reunite india and overthrow the bjp government but it is uh, highly criticized by the left government especially the left, left government in kerala there uh, it is just it just spent 19 days just spent 90 days in kerala and just 4 days in why is why is any government which belongs to this state against this state why should they should be happy that the congress is spending more time here and less time somewhere else and if you are crossing from kanyakumari to kashmir you tell me how do i reduce the distance of kerala you tell me how do i geographically it's impossible for me to cut down the number of 300 plus kilometers to 100 it's not possible no that's the way our map is now if somebody has the power of cutting down that distance i salute that person you see the straight line between kanyakumari and kashmir so number of states that are coming are being crossed other states like assam west bengal odisha gujarat they are all doing their own yatras they have announced some of them are about to announce so every other state is also which are unfortunately not a part of this yatra are organizing their own yatras okay it is known that you are using some tricks because last parliament election rahul gandhi spoke in vairad which in kerala so they can you can so the most is in kerala bharat jodo yatra cannot be and should not be limited to elections electoral politics the objective is far greater far bigger than what people are trying to reduce it to whether it's the bjp or anyone else the objective is to reclaim what i would like to call the soul of india 
which unfortunately because of the government at the center people have stopped recognizing india abroad when you ask your friends they are all shocked at what's happening in india india was on the economic highway under dr manmohan singh and the upa government today you see the health of the economy barring those two three industrialists i ask you all the learned friends sitting in this hall has your income been doubled i don't see anybody saying yes at the end of not even end of the month in the middle of the month all of us who are salaried start worrying imagine the situation and the plight of those who don't have a job and don't have a hope to get a job what was demonetization what was this hasty gst what was the mismanagement total mismanagement of the economy during covid sudden lockdowns unplanned lockdowns so each and every misstep of the government of india has ruined the indian economy look at the msme sector i repeat so what we are talking about is far bigger than an election here or an election there you tell me if i start from kanyakumari and i don't want to fly to kashmir it's not a, it's no i uh, just let me finish if you want we'll do the padyatra by air <laughs> if that helps you but we have to walk no so if i walk from kanyakumari to kashmir why do you want why does your government want us to ignore kerala they should be happy this is an important state one of the most important states why should we ignore kerala and we are not talking against any government here we are focused on what is under great threat of an ideology in power in delhi of the misplaced priority of the modi government why should our attack on the modi government bother somebody in the state government here i don't understand that i i was told they are ideologically poles apart so if they are ideologically poles apart they should be happy that we are doing it sorry also making allegations like this about the road map of congress you already covered it i would be happy if mr modi is getting worried i know he is getting worried the number of attacks mr modi uh, and his government and his proxies are launching on us we know they are worried why should anybody else be worried i fail to understand please ask them they should not be worried if they also want to unite india if they are also worried about unemployment in india if they are also worried about the bad economic health of india then they should not be worried about our bharat jodo yatra but that's our demand too my demand too as a as a worker of the congress party i have every right to demand but even after rahul gandhi made it clear his uh, stand in this shouldn't the senior most leaders like mallika gandhi uh, repeat the same demand no i would say that each and every one who is a worker of the congress has every right to express his or her aspiration demand desire that okay rahul gandhi should be our president once the nomination is done things are clear we'll do what the party wants us to do but right now it's my right to ask for mr rahul gandhi as my president and i mean continuation with that one even told pcc states 
It's not that. We want Rahul Gandhi to lead because we see a lot of hope in him. Does not mean that we don't see hope in others. We are a fortunate party which has very good leaders in each and every state of India, more than one. So it does not mean that if I say, Mr. Mohandas, I like you, does not mean that I don't like Mr. Viti Balram. Right? Mr. Rahul Gandhi, in his press interaction on the 21st, made it very clear. 22nd. 22nd, sorry. Made it very clear that the Congress party is opposed to all forms of communalism, whether it's majority communalism or minority communalism. We are very clear about that. We are also clear about another aspect of this narrative. That the RSS and the PFI both ideologies give oxygen to each other. Bharat Jodo Yatra is attempting to send all such ideologies into the ICU. And they realize they are heading towards the ICU. Therefore, they keep giving each other oxygen. And it's historically the truth. <laughs> ये तमाम मुद्दे जुड़े हुए हैं। I am sorry, I am addressing this in Hindi because it was asked in Hindi. So if anybody wants a translation, my colleague sitting here will be able to help you. ये तमाम मुद्दे जुड़े हुए हैं। स्वतंत्र भारत में के इतिहास में कभी आपने नहीं देखा होगा कि एक राजनीतिक दल सड़क पर बलात्कारियों के पक्ष में नारे लगाता हुआ दिखा हो। कठुआ में हुआ हाथरस में सपोर्ट करते हुए दिखे उन्नाव में सपोर्ट करते हुए दिखे भारतीय जनता पार्टी के मंत्री जम्मू कश्मीर के उस वक्त के वो सड़क पर आ गए थे कठुआ में बलात्कारियों के पक्ष में निकले इससे बड़ा दुर्भाग्यशाली दिन मुझे नहीं लगता भारत के लोकतंत्र में किसी ने देखा होगा तो महिला सुरक्षा की उम्मीद करना भारतीय जनता पार्टी के राज में इस सरकार से मुझे लगता है बेवकूफी होगी जो उदाहरण आपको देखने को मिला उत्तराखंड में वो शर्मिंदगी हम सबको होती है जो भी हम राजनीति में हमें शर्म आ जानी चाहिए जो भारत टीवी पर दिखाया जाता है ना वो भारत असल में है नहीं सत्रह दिन में ये तो अच्छी तरह समझ में आ गया सो वेन एवर द डिसीजन इज मेड वील शेयर विद यू बट एज आई सेड आसाम ओडिशा West Bengal, Gujarat, they are having their own state level yatras and synchronizing those yatras with the Bharat Jodo Yatra. Any other program, when it, whenever it gets finalized, we will definitely share with you. Bhajapa ka to janta se kuch lena dena hai ni, sirf naam mein hai Bharati Janta Party. Agar janta se kuch lena dena hota, to berozgari ki chinta karte. तो इस तरह से नोटबंदी नहीं लाते अचानक रात को आकर सुबह लॉकडाउन नहीं करते तो ये बोले कि जनता से लेना देना नहीं है तो पहले अपने आठ साल का रिकॉर्ड देख लें और प्रधानमंत्री जी को चुनौती देते हैं हम आप सबके सवाल का जवाब दे दें एक दिन बैठकर प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस में समझ में आ जाएगा हमें कि उनका जनता से कितना लेना देना है किसका ये किस पार्टी में है ये किस पार्टी में है बीजेपी में है क्या मुझे नहीं मालूम 
मुझे वो फिर उन दोनों की आपस की जुगलबंदी में मैं बीच में क्यों पढ़ू मैं किसी और की जुगलबंदी में नहीं पढ़ूंगा Why should you avoid elections? Why do you want us to be like the BJP? No, Every a... other party should be like the Congress. They should have in, uh, elections to their presidentship. No, you... That's the lesson to be learnt by other parties. Don't teach us wrong lessons. No, the election is because of you have dragged somebody is reluctant to uh, uh, contest the election. You have dragged somebody from Rajasthan. I don't know where. And why? I told him. You be the candidate. So this has. Uh, I mean, Who's given you these theories? Yeah, what, sir, what this, no, no, no. Now you are trying to. I will. I will share a small secret of my happiness in life. Don't watch television. <laughs> no, you will no, get no. all speculation. Sir, Don't know. These are speculations. No, after thought only, you have no, changed no, no. all the states. No, 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 no. These are speculative uh, no, sir. Otherwise, theories. No. Otherwise, you could have very well asked. Uh, No, we have we, no, no, no. Anybody who wants to contest, I repeat, is free to contest. Wait and wait, wait, and they are planning to contest. I am told by friends like you. The basic mistake is you have dragged somebody. Nobody has been no, no. That's that's incorrect. That's fundamentally incorrect. No, I am sorry. सत्रह दिन हुए हैं पहले चार दिनों में गुड से मुर्दाबाद पहली बार भारतीय जनता पार्टी के प्रवक्ताओं ने बोलना शुरू किया पिछले सत्तर साल में कभी नहीं बोलते थे उसके बाद हेट स्पीच के ऊपर चिंतित हो गए अनुराग ठाकुर सबसे हैरानी की बात है कि अनुराग ठाकुर ज्यादा चिंता कर रहे हैं हेट स्पीच पर तो गोली मारो बोलते थे ना अब ये दस दिन हुए थे यात्रा के पंद्रहवें दिन के आसपास मोहन भागवत जी चले गए मस्जिदों में मदरसों में इमामों से मिलने अभी तो सत्रह ही दिन हुए डेढ़ सौ दिन की यात्रा है आपसे मैं फिर आपको आमंत्रित करूंगा आखिरी दिन मुझसे सवाल पूछेगा कि ये सब क्या हो रहा है इस देश में आपको कई जवाब मिलेंगे थैंक यू थैंक यू Thank you very much. Namne mara Indian Reddy, KWS State Cam Cam, Libish Nation. Thank you, Mr. Pawan Kumar Khairazi, for coming to this forum. Is valuable for us. And in the other end, our other support team, Sri Vidhi Dutra, then the Nana Diwali. copy